Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. It is going to be another uh, uh, video in the Apache Airflow Practical Tutorial video series. In this video series, we are going to uh, look at the installation process of uh, Apache Airflow on Ubuntu 18.04.3. Okay, so actually, I am going to install it on uh, uh, my data making VM. Okay, so if you are not having a data making VM, uh, you can get it, you can set as a request and uh, uh, you can get the VM. Or if you have a Ubuntu uh, operating system, you can just directly go and install as per the uh, installation uh, steps we give. Okay, so let us start the installation steps for the Apache Airflow. <coughs> so basically, I am using a Python uh, version 3.7. I am going to install on my uh, Python 3.7 version. You can uh, uh, you can try it on the 2.7 version also Python 2.7. I actually ran into some issue dependency issues, so I just kept it aside. Probably I will uh, whenever I get time I'll try to on 2.7 as well and uh, I'll let you know. But uh, uh, I have completed uh, uh, successful installation of Apache Airflow on uh, uh, Python 3.7. Okay, so you need to inst you should use uh, <coughs> pip uh, 3 to install Apache Airflow. Uh, on Python uh, 3 version, it is advisable to install using a pip3 uh, uh, the package installer. Okay, so uh, I don't have a pip3 in my system, so I need to first I need to install the pip3 uh, uh, package installer. But to install that, you can use this command uh, uh, sudo apt install uh, uh, python3 pip. Okay, so if you run this command, it will install the pip3. So it's going to ask, asking me to whether uh, uh, it is consumed, it will consume this much in amount of space. It says, uh, do you want to continue? Yes, I said. But then uh, you need to, uh, this is a command, uh, sudo uh, pip3 install Apache Airflow. This is a simple command. You just invoke this command. It will start installing the uh, Apache Airflow. So basically, Apache Airflow uses uh, different Python packages like uh, it is going to use the flash uh, python flash package and it is going to use the for web server it is going to use the uh, unicorn uh, uh, package uh, unicorn uh, package and it is going to use the py panda or uh, py uh, numpy there are various number of uh, python packages is going to use it so this is a, a list of packages it is installed for the apache airflow once the installation is successful uh, you can actually uh, uh, in initiate the DB da uh, database. So basically, how it works is basically uh, uh, Apache Airflow is a web-based tool, right? It's a uh, or web-based uh, framework. So it is going to require a uh, 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 web server, and it is going to maintain all your uh, metadata, right? Uh, like uh, if you know UZ very well, so UZ also maintains the uh, metadata on the any um, uh, database right like uh, my can be my sql or uh, uh, it can be any other database right to postgres or something so uh, airflow apache uh, airflow also maintains the metadata in database so by default it uses the uh, sql right it's a, a lightweight uh, sql engine okay database engine it uses but you can configure uh, different rdbms like my sql or postgres um, so in this, I'm just going with the default one, SQL engine. But uh, for production use, I think I should we should use the or uh, I would recommend you to use any uh, RDBMA system like uh, MySQL or Postgres. Okay. So uh, once you uh, run this init uh, init uh, Airflow init BB, it initializes. Okay. So that's what uh, if you see this here uh, uh, SQL light. This is the uh, uh, this is a database engine it uses to maintain this your metadata in the database. Okay, so once this uh, um, database initialization is done, okay, then we are going to actually run our uh, um, <coughs> Apache Airflow web server. So when you run this Apache Airflow, uh, Apache Airflow on your web server, it is going to run on a different port, right? So by default, it uses the 8080. You can actually change based on whatever port you want. So when I run this, uh, it says no module named uh, airflow dot uh, uh, www dot uh, unicorn uh, config. So basically, uh, when I when I without running uh, without using the sudo uh, 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 in the prefix of uh, airflow web server, actually I'm getting this uh, issue. So what did I do? Is I use that sudo command to 
uh, avoid that issue okay so a sudo airflow web server followed by if you give the port number it will actually start so you can also provide iphone uh, 8080 space iphone d capital letter d to run this uh, 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 this web server as a daemon as a background process right now i just ran as a foreground process so it will be keep on running i just keep uh, this window aside so once it started you can actually uh, browse through your any uh, your favorite browser to see the uh, the apache airflow the web ui it's a very beautiful web ui they used uh, um, um, flask framework to develop this uh, ui so by default it is going to launch this and you see the dax right the workflows uh, which is a sample workflows which is created by the airflow people uh, you can just uh, try it out uh, running these uh, flows right and also you need to uh, run the airflow scheduler so scheduler is the one which is going to uh, schedule your uh, you create a dag and you need to schedule your dag right so it's not that only one time you run the dag or workflow you need to uh, run it in uh, in fair so you have to uh, schedule it and the data so it has to run in some frequency right so you need to run this uh, airflow scheduler so airflow uh, airflow running airflow on a web server and a scheduler these are the two important things in uh, airflow uh, uh, airflow orchestration tool once the scheduler is started so i am again in the airflow scheduler i am starting as a background process so i am provided i and d similarly you can provide for when you run airflow with web server also okay so once this is done uh, i am just going to see some sample uh, dag and i am going to run it so uh, first i need to switch on the dag okay so it just it's all off status you just make it as on and then this in the right hand side you see the trigger uh, dag you just click on this trigger dag it is uh, trigger dag it's saying are you uh, sure want to run this uh, um, uh, dag say okay and it's going to run it okay so uh, this is how you can run the uh, DAG in the using web UI. Okay, there are different uh, options provided in this. You can just explore it and just uh, click on the logs and the jobs. Uh, uh, so logs, you can see the all the jobs logs. Okay, and uh, you can see uh, like uh, this is being scheduled. Uh, 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 what is the frequency? So every uh, Every one, uh, every uh, one hour, uh, uh, I think every day, every one minute, it is uh, not <clears throat> every one day. It is uh, triggered actually. So, so it is showing the uh, basically the uh, frequency of the uh, um, when it is triggered. All this information will be triggered in the jobs uh, uh, window. Okay. So. Um, and uh, this is how we can actually uh, explore the different uh, 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 the tabs and the links in this uh, Apache Airflow. So and also you can go to this. Uh, so I think I given I click on this uh, uh, the particular uh, one uh, DAG ID and I you once you once open the uh, DAG right you can go to the graphical view and uh, see the your task how the task are arranged whether it is all the task or uh, you can think a task is an operator right so how each uh, operator is being uh, um, uh, uh, um, designed so is all the tasks are running in parallel or it is in sequential all this information you can see in graphical manner it's very very useful uh, uh, for you to understand the how the graph is designed so and also you see there are a lot of uh, links available um, you can explore uh, uh, this information we will actually We'll, info, uh, we'll explore uh, each one by one in the future videos whenever uh, we work on that particular uh, uh, section okay uh, i hope this video is helpful uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel to get more technology videos uh, see you in the next video friends